Hi everybody, it's Heather from the Nocatee Welcome Center and it is a beautiful day here in Palmetto Cove at Nocatee. And you guys know who I'm standing next to. It is your home designer, Sam Clausen of Dosty Homes and he is showing us their beautiful Grand Acadia model home. So thank you for having us. Thank you guys for being here. Come up onto the front porch here, Carlin, with us. And look at this lovely 15 foot ceiling. We've got our Grand Acadia Coastal, which has Bahama shutters, corbels, outriggers, whatever you want to call these things that really dress up this architectural style here in Palmetto Cove. Everything needed to be coastal, so we've given you brand new home designs, home, new home elevations here in Palmetto Cove, and what a great front porch. Absolutely beautiful. And also, I love that your um, two-car garage is a sidecar garage, Sam. That was something that gives you that more space with the driveway. And then your one car is on the opposite side of the home. It does indeed. Carly, we're in our Grand Acadia, so this is almost 3,500 square feet of living space. That single door you see right there is the one-car garage. But right behind these two double French doors is our home office. There's Sam Schneider. Everybody knows Hi, Sam, Sam Schneider. Hello. Sam's the one selling you your dusty home. So we've done some different things here in this Grand Acadia model since we built a Grand Acadia model before. So for example, we gave Sam a couple of closets in his home office uh, this time, rather than just having all glass doors on the front of it. Um, everybody's favorite, the grand, great gathering room. 12 to 13 foot ceilings in here. Um, what an absolutely incredible room. We, little, we went a little warmer, Heather, you with did. our colors, with our finishes this time. Um, since the last home was a Grand Acadia, we wanted to do some other elements in this one that were a little different as well. For example, in our previous model, we had a fireplace. Here we've done what everybody wants these days, a 75 or an 85 inch TV, making this room feel just that much more grand. Look, more storage, you're hiding all your equipment, which I love, but then look at your beautiful, I just love these, just niches that you have so so much you can do and also reminding people if you're missing that stocking where you're going to hang your stockings you're going to hang them right here it's going to be beautiful it is indeed we still have those 16 foot wide sliding glass doors with the transom windows above leading outside so we'll go out there in a few minutes but while we're on this side of the house i want carling to take a left and we're going to go tour this lovely master bedroom absolutely beautiful and then I love, you have the double doors right here, so complete privacy. We do, this is an option. This can always be a single door if somebody wants to, but the master bedroom has, of course, its own ensuite bath, and we did something different there this time as well. As Carly pans around and then heads behind her, she is gonna see that this time, instead of doing a large bath in one walk-in closet, we did a his and hers walk-in closet this time. We did not sacrifice our linen closet, because Heather and Carly yes. love storage. <laughs> Thank storage. you for making sure you do that. But look at the built-ins and what you can do with this Grand Acadia model, but also all the Dosty homes. I want to remind people that if you're interested in Dosty homes and you want to see their floor plans, go to Nocatee.com, click on the Neighborhood tab, and you'll click on Palmetto Cove, and you'll see what they have built or building here in Palmetto Cove. It's just beautiful. And Sam, you and your team do such a great job, and you do make each community slightly different than the next with your floor plans. We do indeed. Heather, one of my favorite things about this bathroom is that we have a his vanity that's huge, but we have a hers vanity that is just ridiculously large. Because uh, the, the wife can now have her own sink, she can have her own little makeup vanity here, but what we haven't sacrificed is that gorgeous, huge shower or the freestanding bathtub that everybody wants. And I love that you do the space. seat and you didn't just do a corner seat this time because we've seen that. You've right? done an entire bench actually. So I love the bench and I want to point that out to people so when you're designing your home, maybe this is something that you also do in your house. But again, look at your standing, your freestanding tub. It just is very, it's dressed up in this house. Oh, Carly yeah. saw the bling. She oh, looked I know. up and saw the elegance <laughs> up there on the ceiling. I love that. It really does just elevate it though. It's beautiful. And I want to remind people, so Palmetto Cove is a great location on the southern end of Nocatee because you literally are less than two miles down the road to the paddle launch. And I want to remind people, we've done a video at the paddle launch. That's where you can kayak, canoe, and paddleboard. So you'll be able to jump on your golf cart here in Palmetto Cove, leave your dusty home, and bam, you are down at the Intracoastal Waterway. 
Carling, let's take a left out here onto this huge covered lanai. Everybody loves outdoor living and we try to tie all of our homes, the outdoors inside. We call it indoor outdoor living, um, but this is enormous. We've even got a fire pit out here with some Adirondack chairs. But you still have a huge grass space. We Sam. do. These, so these lots in Palmetto amazing. Cove were actually very nice, Heather. Yes. So I want to point that out because let's say you have a dog or you have little kids that want to play. There's still ample space with this particular floor plan, but actually all the floor plans for you to have a great yard. There really is. And over here on the right, Carling, we have our outdoor kitchen. Everybody loves the outdoor kitchen, right? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. But one of the things they Absolutely. really love about this Grand Acadia plan, Carling, is our cabana. Okay, that's just my room. <laughs> this is my space, but it could be for your kids. Think about this. If you have, first of all, if you have kids, um, older kids living in the home, for example, coming home from college, this would be a great privacy area. What if you need a mother-in-law suite? Let's be honest, Sam. So many people ask for this. And why this space is great is because look what Sam and his team did. When Carling flips yep. around, there's a full bath in here. Not only is there a full bathroom, there's a walk-in closet. Okay, I didn't know that, Sam. So actually, we are going to walk in. I, I got to be honest. First, I'm like, oh, we don't need to walk in. Oh, Carling, you're going to have to wow. open that door. Because seriously. But think of what you can utilize with this space. Or let's do a home office. So many of you are working from home. Guess what? You're not waking up your partner because you have this space. You can even shower in this space. You can. I, I cannot say enough about this space cabana, amazing space, what you can do with it. Because as Sam is gonna show us, this home has secondary bedrooms besides the master that we saw. And I believe we, you have three secondary bedrooms. Still three more secondary bedrooms. So that, it's just endless. So Carlin, we've opened one of these sliding glass doors so we can walk right back into our kitchen and dining area. And again, look at all the space. Uh, I definitely think this is an entertaining house. Look at the amount of chairs that surround the <laughs> island. But you have a rectangle, huge table right here. So Heather and Carling, I don't know if you or our viewers remember the original Grand Acadia model, but we decided to build the alternate kitchen in this particular model home, which is still a huge gourmet kitchen, along with the optional uh, built-ins over here. And look at this. Oh, I have this looking one. for more storage I'm sorry. and she's finding Again, it. Again, I'm just every inch of this house there is there's so much just details and Sam and his team honestly, I cannot get over how much just attention you gave to every nook and cranny. So I had to show that. Well, Heather, the the storage and the secret of this particular kitchen is the back kitchen or messy kitchen. Yes. With a secondary refrigerator and a huge walk-in pantry. So Carly's gonna walk around the corner here and you guys are gonna see that there is more storage just hidden around the corner. The bottom line is, wow. is you are gonna be the host of every holiday. You are gonna be the host of every neighborhood party because I just can't get over the amount of space, countertop space, but I love that where Carly is, good. she's gonna back out and show you there's so much prep space away from your main kitchen area, which is just perfection. And but we have to make sure, I want to point out to the people the bar over here. So Carling, as you back out, can you actually yep. head over here so Sam can also show something different that they did in this particular home? So one of the features that we had in our Grand Acadia was our wraparound wet bar. Um, my team jokes with me that I design homes with way too many places <laughs> to feature a, a beverage refrigerator. Um, and in this home, we decided to do one long dry bar here because we're just steps away from the kitchen sink. So we went dry bar instead of wet bar, but we dressed it up with something a little bit more elegant this time. Yes. Um, that's right here. You can get off the couch. You don't have to run down the hallway or into the kitchen to grab your beverage right. and miss your favorite show. You can do that right here in the great room. So again, just all of that indoor, outdoor entertaining space with the sliders that they put in that of course collapsed to one side. It is just endless, the amount of just, I say family events, friend events. And that's the one thing I wanna remind you, when you move to Nocatee, you will have instant friends. It's so neat how many people come from all over the United States and outside of our country, and they meet each other at Food Truck Fridays, the Farmer's Market, that is where everyone gets to know each other. 
and I'm just excited for you to move to Palmetto Cove into a Dossy home. So we walked in to one of the secondary bedrooms, this particular one, beautiful, because it has its own bathroom, your yep. full bath by itself. Own private bathroom. We set this up as the boys' bathroom, so he can be dirty and the girls don't have to mess with it. <laughs> um, directly across the hall, we have our large guest suite. Beautiful. But and when I say large, you really just, do have to stand inside these bedrooms to understand how big yes. these bedrooms are in this 3,500 square foot house. But Carlin, you have the Jack and Jill bathroom that's right off of the guest suite. And then- Very nice. When you walk through, yep. you've got the secondary bedroom. And I wanna remind people, it is so hard to see on camera. What Sam is saying is absolutely correct. These secondary bedrooms are ample space, huge, can't say enough. And then this is our fourth bedroom. So we've got four furnished bedrooms in this house with that cabana back there that actually could be a fifth bedroom game room like we've Correct. got it set up. And then finally, we're down here at the end of the secondary hall and we have our mudroom. This is our door to our two car garage. Great cubbies for coming in, dropping off those backpacks, mm -hmm. kicking off those shoes after soccer practice, or just walking around the corner to the right and dropping off whatever sweaty goodness you have <laughs> in our huge laundry room. I can't get out of this. Wow. I mean, this, and if you do, let's do dog owner. And Sam was actually talking to me about this earlier. There's enough space on the far wall. You could put a dog bed, you could put dog bowls. There's, it's just endless. If you're a cat owner, of course, you could put, you know, your cat stuff. I just want to remind you, we have over uh, 12 dog parks on the Nocatee property. And so you can go to nocatee.com, read the blogs, click on all the links and find out more. And with that one, I want to remind people, there is a one car garage on the other side. I use the word car, but I want to remind you, we're a golf cart community. So that's where you can park your golf cart, put your kayak and canoes. And of course, powder room. Thank you for showing that. Have to have, the, have to have the yes. powder room. Nobody wants to go in those kids' bathrooms. No. So again, just space for everyone, the homeowners, and of course, everyone that visits. So I want to remind people, we are with Sam Clausen, your home designer and his amazing team of Dosty Homes. They've been with the Park Group family for many, many years here in Nocatee. Everyone loves them. We love them. Is there anything we miss, Sam, on the Grand Acadia? You know, I'm sure there is, but this house has so many bells and whistles and so many things to offer everybody, every family type. Please come out here and visit. Yes. We've got, uh, we've only got a few opportunities left here. Can't in wait. In Palmetto Cove. Palmetto Cove at Nocatee. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye.